started up. Justin Steele fires. And yeah, the first pitch of the game is in for a strike. For the young left hander. Fastball 94 with some good cut. Yeah, he's got a little slugging against lefties. Five home homers are against lefties. And a good slider to strike out loop low. What a way. Hero for the Diamondbacks, Josh Rojas. And that clips the inside corner, says Chris Guccione. So I guess at five to three, maybe we hit, but you, you know what I'm saying, yeah. right? It's coming in at the start of the game, game in this ballpark. Josh Rojas, Arizona kid, grew up in good year. We didn't. We're flying at Wrigley yesterday. No doubt. And the breaking ball just missed. Steele wanted it. Steele is ready. Rojas waits. 3 2. And did that hit his hand or his back? And, it is is and now it's Cattell Marte. And no fun as a pitcher to have to endure a long rain delay. You pitched back. Had a uh, fairly lengthy rain delay in it. Okay. It's, uh, it's the White Sox at Yankee Stadium. What's fairly. The 2 1. Did you just quote Millie Vanilla? Behind the plate. You're not going to need any defense. It's like yeah. Eddie Fainer. Holy cow. These guys, especially this spring, have had their work cut out for them. I talked to Dan the other. It's been a, a real mixed bag, hasn't it? That one missing to Christian. How about this note? Justin Steele is ninth, 2019. He did that. No evidence to support that. This is anecdotal. I have a feel about or whatever. So to restate the theme in the air out towards left center field. And wisdom is there and he makes the catch. Didn't quite get the sweet spot. Serious factor yesterday. Down the on the left field line or trees are quiet. Maybe the flags are just tired from yesterday. Maybe, maybe they're wet. And they're just oh. I'm right there with you. That one inside. Two two. Right there, got him. He has struck out four. Uh, bearing it down in the dirt or taking a little off to find the strike zone. Really want to make sure that the shapes of the two are different. I say they. This goes to Craig Breslow, to Chris Young, all those guys. Right, JD. Yeah. I'm a one two percent. It's about a quarter. And then you were. Quality baby. Still qualified. Oh. Yeah. Varsho waits. Yes. Outside corner ring him up. Justin Steele. Good guys. Holy what's happening? Cow. You know, I was walking over from, from the studio yeah. uh, as I was nice. And some loud noises off the bats. Hey, JD. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, what's it like coming back here? I mean, just it uh, it, it, it's always great to come back to to obviously Wrigley Field. 13 years I spent in this uniform, and yesterday especially with Fergie's situation, and so you, you see Billy Williams, who was one of my hitting coaches, and. And you also see, you know, Fergie was a pitching coach when I was here. But then in the front row, get you, get you a good pitching. And I heard you say earlier, yep. knock, knock the bleep out of it. <laughs> and, and, and you know, that was kind of like the whole yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. And, and <laughs> Bill said, Grace, this going on? And, uh, but 
but he he was he was a very good he was a very good hitting coach because he knew he was the guy who said Gracie this this go to on Alec Thomas popped in the air Morrell charging in and makes the catch Peralta back to first and there's one down so Gracie like gold glove four times three famers that, that, that are there but that, I guess if there was one thing that, if there was a the biggest feather in the cap that probably would would be oh, my, my me, career yeah. best pretty feather. Darn good. yeah yeah leads some, some <laughs> yeah, pretty decades of of leading the league in it taking a two nothing lead in the top of the third took that lead in the bottom of the second back to back homers from Schwindel and wisdom how about yesterday with the wind blowing out? that's uh, that, you might see that once going to be honest with you. I think Justin Steele would like to pitch against the that's that's hard. A, that's a, that's yeah, a hard, hard act to follow, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't have to carry anything. That one looped out into left field. That's a base hit as Wisdom will pick it up and throw it in. Two on, one out. Really been, you know, his go to thing. His, he's a defensive shortstop, he's a defensive specialist, but eventually. Steele able to strike him out swinging his first. And it, that's kind of strange. I guess you can get pigeonholed if you if you will. You can. Yeah. Well, he he really show your stuff. In the air, right field, going back Suzuki. He's there, makes the catch. Tagging from second is Peralta, and he'll move up to 90 feet. I had a manager. So that's. I, I tried to keep it that simple. And and also, you know. JD on lefties. Nobody right. did back in the right. day. So I've thrown my mediocre breaking ball more. Um, and, and the point I've made to Boogan, otherwise they wouldn't be in the lineup. Jordan Luplo would be. Fouled off the plate. Eradicated, Eradicated completely. Well, you guys are using very big words. My San Diego State. Lace to left, wisdom back, back some more, makes the catch. That one hit pretty sort of like uh, it's a process stat, right? But it it doesn't mean that he hasn't given up extra base hits, but in with those parameters, you're usually not going to. So if he keeps missing barrels, at the end, yeah, okay, which was, is not going to be your optimum launch angle. As, as Boog, uh, as, uh, that's we just saw one down the yep, base, yep, right? there is some slug on the ground. The technology and all these stats. Well, it's pretty amazing when you think about. There's more and more data that that they're able to use. JD, I I find as data and information, and it, it was all new to him. On the ground, and right there, Fargus handles the chance. So it's not that the, a ball can't be hit well on the ground. But what were you really in? So, that's, so maybe in a perfect world, there'd be a better term for it than a barrel. Because yes. we talk a lot about a lot of guys hits the ball. Yeah. But but those were, I mean, third baseman were back on the outfield grass when Jack Clark would come up to the plate. Just you're going to go yeah. into goalie mode and try to make a glove save. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, the starting so, point. So can you hang the day? No question. Check swing. Field of first. And he went. No, we have not. Or, or black bat in the so daytime. Here, here's so this is what happens when we're working together. It's a night harder to see the black bat at night. At night, and so this is the way it goes. I'll give you the full play. Go. <laughs> I love that. Oh my goodness! Sounds like you guys need more of a hobby. Oh my gosh! The Jake McCarthy, his older brother Joe. Look, Joe is over playing for Oryx in Japan. That one inside, and Jake will take his base. A two outs and a man at first, and the inning extended, and here comes Dalton. Play the University of Virginia baseball. Sharp so far. You're not going to do anything with that pit. They should have been a little more accommodating. I love the tone with which Gracie delivered that. At first, Cubs four, Diamondbacks nothing. One, two. 
And that one kicks away from Gomes. Can't find it. Now he does. Down to second goes McCarthy. Boy. Tracy, yours truly. I do remember that. In the low back. I, I, I felt bad for like a half a six to left center as a left-handed hitter. Yep. Gwynn, Grace, Hernandez, Boggs. Steel strikes. For the pitchers. Look at hats. Seen heads. David. Oh, that's nice. In there, and that is strikeout number eight. Thomas flied to center his first time. Been up since May 8th. Homer yesterday. He's got three homers. And JD, we've seen the power. We've also really go. That's why he's. One of the top prospects in all of baseball. In all the land. Been a good come, a homecoming Chicago area kid. Hit a home run here. Had a nice series. His pitches. Certainly would love to see him get through this inning. That is out number two here in the fifth. Now Spence, they have a really good defender at short when he's healthy in Nick Ahmed. Shoulder issues and now COVID. Here on the fastball. Rossi will. And again, Cubs bullpen is quiet all day. And a swing and a miss, another strikeout.